Okay. Y'all listen up now. So pay attention to it. You're going to learn something. And you see, all I've done here is I fixed a engine crankcase housing into the backing plate here just for show and tell. That's all this is for. But you see, I done got that in yonder. And when and, and this is just a stub of a crankshaft. It was bad. I just made a... And this is that flywheel that was cut away. You've seen it before. The tool that is in question in progress of being constructed, the uh, the the what that what that tool the function of it is to position, and you probably won't. I may have to get a close up up in yonder. What what that what that does, and this has got the spring removed, so I can show it to you up in yonder. This, once you have this governor adjusted correctly, and that one's not, it's the distance, and we will talk about that, the distance between that shoe and that coupling, so that when this flies out, you will have some action there. Once you've got that done, then there's nothing else to do with that. You can be confident that that will never be your problem, that your engine won't run. But with that said, what the tool, the function that that tool does, in lieu of having one of these things, and you can look down in your hole, Yonder, and see this going on. We're going to do that. We just look forward to it. But what, what the tool does is verifies that there's clearance between this roller wheel here and the pivot pin at the largest part down at the bottom, the seat of it down in there. That distance in a straight line, and this distance here in a straight line, should have a fair amount of distance there because when you adjust this bolt right here, you change, you change that setting. So you want to point this back part of this point, you want that to be outboard enough so that when you make adjustment here, that will not make contact with that and break it off. That what you call it thing, the first little pin comes out there, verifies that you have that clearance. The next little pin comes out is it's the replacement of this roller wheel here in its midpoint. That's that's important that you when you're adjusting something, if you can maintain adjustment, let's say that you've got 30 degrees. If you adjust it at the 15 degree mark, then you you've got 15 degrees to go either way. But if you adjust it on the five mark, well, you ain't got much adjustment on that side of the initial setting. So that's the reason for all of this confusion is that they are so much distance between good and bad you you can't hardly go wrong but but this is where we're at now and to bring you up to date as the tool and this back and plate here then the tool we, that we've got it up to this point right here and the way it's going to work my mind of the Correct. I may not be incorrect, but this fits right in there, and that's where we're at right now. On the road to construct this, this, uh, <laughs> this, this is a tool that you do not need. Uh, this is purely a exhibit only. The construction of this tool right here. You don't need that. We're going to adjust. We're, we're going to set these points without the tool. That's the that's the outcome. But I did want to build this tool to verify that. You know, the instructions are in the book, so you ought to have the tool. Uh, I mean, I probably will never use it other than this show and tell, but we're going to get her done. From here on the east coast of Arkansas, we're building this Maytag tool. As you can see in this shot right here... Just 
it's about a, oh, maybe a thousandth or two below the dead center line on the piece of material because I did, I wanted to retain the center point of this piece of material. Uh, I'll show you the reason why we're going to do that. Plus, this is a good way to set your two-bit height. Just make a face, set it where you think it should be, and then make a facing cut and observe where, how much protrusion you got there, how much that little stick-out thing is. If you don't have any, you're above or exactly on dead center. So you can use this. This is a good way to set it and I wanted this one to be just a thousand or so under dead center and that's what we got. We're going to get her done. As this was not meant to be a how to build a tool article, I uh, just wanted to show you that I actually did build this thing here. Turning down the main arbor here now. That old Grizzly G9972 Z. Small piece of emery cloth there. I just kind of knocked the fur off of it there so it'll be slick to the top. 